Hello dear students, let us uh, now do another activity in which we will be making a parallelogram by paper folding. I hope you know what is a parallelogram. So can you define what is a parallelogram? Yes, number one, we say that a quadrilateral in which both pairs of opposite sides are parallel both pairs of opposite sides are parallel is called a parallelogram so this is one definition of a parallelogram another thing is if both pairs of opposite sides of the quadrilateral are equal in case we get a quadrilateral in which both pairs of opposite sides are equal then in that case also we will get a parallelogram and another interesting thing is the third situation if we make a quadrilateral such that one pair of opposite sides is both equal as well as parallel as well as parallel in that situation also we will get a parallelogram i hope you see this figure so this is the first case when both pairs of opposite sides are parallel then we say a b c d is a parallelogram second when both pairs of opposite sides are equal then also we get a parallelogram and the third case is in case one pair of opposite side is equal as well as parallel then also we say this quadrilateral is a parallelogram now we are going to make a parallelogram by paper folding see how we are going to do this observe the steps and i will be performing the steps side by side so for doing this i have taken a rectangular sheet of paper right you can see this i hope it is visible yes now you can see so we are going to make a parallelogram so first thing is we will be considering this base of the a4 sheet and first fold we are going to make like this so we are getting a crease parallel to the base of the a4 sheet or of this rectangular sheet i have taken a rectangular sheet so this is crease 1 right now second we will be making a crease perpendicular to crease 1 closely see how we have done this closely see this is how we have got crease 1 I folded and see how I have got crease 2. Observe this. This is the way how we get a perpendicular crease. And you see this angle is 90 degrees. Right? And when you unfold, you get a crease. I am marking this crease for your reference. And this is crease number 2. And this is perpendicular to crease number 1. Right? Now we have got crease number 2. This is crease number 2. Now we are going to get crease 3. How do we get crease 3? Crease 3 is perpendicular to crease number 2. See how I have got. This is a rectangular sheet. So I can fold it this way. And I see that I am getting a 90 degree angle of this new crease which we are going to get perpendicular to the previous one so unfold it 
and you can draw here and you see that this is crease number 3 and it is perpendicular to crease number 2. Right, now we have crease 1 and crease 3 in such a way that we are getting both these perpendicular to crease 2. So that means crease 3 and crease 1. Do you see a relationship between them? Yes, you are right. Crease 3, that is this line, will be parallel to line number 1. Okay, now see what we are going to do. How do we get crease number 4? We are going to fold in a way that we get a transversal passing through lines 1 and 3. I hope you can see this. So, I am marking this and I will be using a different pen now. So, this is crease number 4. So, this is a transversal. See how I have done? Just fold like this. I am repeating up to this. Crease 1. Crease 2 is perpendicular to crease 1. Crease 3 is perpendicular to crease 2. Unfold. And crease 4 is transversal for lines 3 and 1. I hope it is clear now. Now see what we have to do. We have to follow a process now. I will be folding the paper along crease 4 and keeping my paper like this now. Okay. So this is crease 4. Now I have to get crease 5. So crease 5 will be perpendicular to crease number 4. See how I have got this. You have to be very careful. You don't have to fold like this. You have to fold like this so that you see this, these two creases, these two are aligned to each other and we see a 90 degree angle between the crease number 5 and crease number 4. Okay. So unfold it. You see a new crease and this is now crease number 5. Right? So how we have got crease 5? Crease 5 is having 90 degree angle with crease number 4. I am repeating. This is crease 4. So I am folding it in such a way that we get a new crease perpendicular to crease number 4. Right? Now open the sheet. After that fold along crease number 5. And again, rotate the paper so that you are able to get a new crease perpendicular to crease number 5. So, this is crease number 5 now. How do you get a perpendicular? Yes, you are going to fold it like this. So that you get this is crease 5. You are getting crease 6 perpendicular to each other. Right? Unfold it. And you can see that we have got a new crease and this is crease number 6. Right? Now, what do you say about crease number 4 and 6? Yes, they will be parallel to each other. Why? Because both these creases are perpendicular to crease number 5. 4 is perpendicular to 5. 5 is perpendicular to 6. That means 4 and 6. Both are perpendicular to 5, so they will be parallel to each other. Now, I am going to locate the parallelogram. Can you see a parallelogram? Yes, we can see a parallelogram. Here, we are going to take portion of crease 3, portion of crease 1, and we will see the closed figure which is formed by joining crease 4, 3, 6 and 1 and you will see that it is a parallelogram. So, this is how we get a parallelogram by paper folding. Now, I am going to repeat the process quickly. Just observe. So, how I have got crease 1? Yes, crease 1 is parallel to the base. And we have taken a rectangular sheet. So take a rectangular sheet. Get crease 1 parallel to the base. Now crease 2. 
how we have got crease to yes tell me crease to how we have got yes it is perpendicular to crease 1 how we have got crease 3 just see how we have got crease 3 yes we have got crease 3 perpendicular to crease 2 right unfold it and till this step we observe that crease 3 is parallel to crease 1 now how we have got crease 4 we have got crease 4 and 4 is transversal passing through crease 1 and 3. See this is crease 4. Now how we have got crease number 5? Tell me fast. Yes, crease 5 we have got it is perpendicular to crease 4. This is for your reference. And how we have got crease number 6? See this is how we have got crease number 5 perpendicular to crease number 4. And how we have got crease 6? Yes, it is perpendicular to crease number 5. So which two are parallel to each other now? Yes, observation till this part is crease 4 is parallel to crease 6. So we see that 3 is parallel to 1 and 4 is parallel to 6 and we can locate a parallelogram between them. I hope this is clear to you.